last video, I got to introduce how the Learning Labels Teams and Profiles is added to the web application. I added another feature to the team summary, a kind of way to filter and precisely target different team members. This is a quick refresher. This is what the team interface looks like, and I have access to all the team members. I can see all their learning progress. I can see their labels they've worked on, the progress of what they completed and haven't completed yet, and what they're going to be doing. I can go back. I can click on different emblems. I see the emblems. I see the labels and so forth. This is the team summary. This is what I added. You can see all your uh, team members up at the top. Um, each skill you has interactivity, but here are all my team members. And I, what I can do is just click on them and remove them from the list and then recalculate. And I see, you know, subsets of my teams, all the different summary uh, calculations get uh, re recalculated um, for this subset. And so I can quickly target specific areas for the team that we can improve upon. Um, and then I could show all and recalculate and it brings them all back. I can sort on skill points. This is what we do best. Um, I can see, you know, different what gaps there are with this as well um, by looking at the min and the max. Now, I chose this design for the filtering because it's, you know, works really effectively on a mobile device. Here I navigate to this. You can see if it works ideally on the mobile. Everything fits precisely. And here are all my team members. And you can see, just click on it real easy or touch on it because it's on your mobile. And the skills look you know, ideally on the screen and they have all the same interactivity as the, uh, you know, larger screen by clicking on the different items. Um, we can still do all the sorts and all that. So this is a, you know, a way to kind of filter through your teams, target specific areas for improvement and, you know, optimize what you're doing with your team. Uh, I urge you to give this a try, www.skillslabel.com. This uses a sample data that we're still trying to get this uh, populated with the learning labels to make this effective. So if you're interested, contact us at partner at skillslabel.com. Uh, give us a try.